there and welcome to Inquiry Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's pen review. You'll notice I didn't say the word fountain. That's because this is a ballpoint pen. Oh no! This is the Bastion Carbon Fiber Stainless Steel Bolt Action Pen. Bastion asked me to do a review of this ballpoint pen and I agreed without realizing that they also have a fountain pen. Otherwise, I would have asked for one of those too. Thankfully, Chris Rap 52 has done a review on both the ballpoint and the fountain pen. And based on his review of the fountain pen, I'm glad I didn't get one. I'll link Chris's review in the description so you can find out for yourself. But this is a very stealthy, very substantial bolt action ballpoint pen. And it's very interesting. So let's take a quick look at it right now. <music> Okay, this is a bit of an unusual unboxing in that it's not a fountain pen. It is a ballpoint pen. I know what you're saying. How dare you do a ballpoint pen review? Boogie, boogie, boogie. But uh, I've done one before. I did a modern fuel uh, copper uh, bolt action ballpoint pen review and a pencil as well. And they were very interesting. Sent to me by modern fuel. Well, I was contacted last week by Bastion Pens and uh, I checked out their website and so forth. They were interested in having me do a review of their bolt action stainless steel pen. So I said, sure, and I sent them my address and they sent me a package within about five days. And here it is, let's open it up. And here's the box, Bastion. That's the cellophane, there's a refill, and a pen sleeve. Let's look at the pen sleeve. A oh, nice little felt pen sleeve that says Bastion on it. And here's the box, cardboard with some silver foil stamping on it. Yeah, magnetic closure, I wondered foam and there's the pen yes black carbon fiber stealth oh it's heavy yeah this is a, a tactical bolt action pen very heavy in the hand carbon fiber on the outside well, that works very nicely the bastion bolt action ballpoint pen this is going to be a short review Ballpoint pens are the reason I use fountain pens. The only non-fountain pen I write with are roller balls, which are the closest thing to fountain pens as far as I'm concerned. Ballpoints make my writing nasty and chaotic. But I have the luxury of not having to use a writing instrument in conditions where a fountain pen or even a roller ball would not be practical or appropriate. My son James works in the film industry as a lighting technician in addition to running a 3D printing company through Etsy. When I reviewed the Modern Fuel Bolt Action Pen a while ago, I gave the pen to James and he's used it in the field regularly. But when I showed him this Bastion, he went, ooh, ah. I borrowed his Modern Fuel Bolt Action Copper Pen back from him to do some on-camera comparison with the Bastion. When handling the Bastion, he immediately saw some practical applications to his work environment and I offered to give it to him when this review is done. And that's another reason why this is going to be a short review as he's filming later this week and wants this pen. So let's look at the parts and features of this pen and do some size comparisons and measurements. I won't be doing a full writing sample as it's a ballpoint cartridge that is pretty much universal. The thing I noticed when I held the pen was its substantial weight. It weighs in at a whopping 61 grams. Sometimes carbon fiber has a texture to it and I thought this would add to the grip on this pen, but this is smooth as glass. So I find it a heavy, slippery pen. However, the Bastion Bolt Action is also available in titanium and aluminum, and in both this thickness and in slimmer versions. And the aluminum pens are available in seven colors, black, silver, red, blue, sea foam, purple, and pink. The aluminum version is much lighter at only 23 grams. Bastion also makes a bolt action pencil available in stainless steel, aluminum, and titanium, and can be used with 0.05 or 0.07 pencil leads. So there's a variety to choose from for your personal tastes. 
You have to search around their website to find it, but the fountain pen version comes in three materials as well. Stainless steel, aluminum, and titanium. Let's look at this pen. From the top, we see the domed end finial, the very stiff clip that is screwed on using Torx screws, and the bolt for retracting and extending the ballpoint. The clip can be replaced as Bastion provides a lot of available spare parts. On the side, we see the Bastion logo and Bastion laser etched into the black powder coat surface. The bolt action works extremely well. And the whole construction of this pen is high quality indeed. The carbon fiber clad barrel is straight all the way down to the tapering stainless steel tip, which is also replaceable. It unscrews for access to the standard Parker style ballpoint ink cartridge that you can get in either regular ink or gel ink. And Bastion sells refills from their website as well. Spring back on and close down the pen. Let's compare the Bastion to the modern fuel bolt action pen. This is a solid copper, but is much slimmer and only weighs 41 grams. The bolt on the modern fuel is knurled on the edge, which gives you a better grip. And the knock is adjustable to accept a variety of different refill sizes. And the clip on the modern fuel is a slide on option. You can see how the copper surface has developed a patina with about a year's worth of use. But that can be brightened up like a shiny new penny by rubbing it with quadruple aught steel wool. Let's bring in an El Cheapo Chinese made Parker Jotter to compare with both pens. The Jotter is the lightest and slimmest of the three, but is also the most slippery. And it's clearly the one with the least build quality. Lots of rough, sharp edges and lower build quality with this Chinese made Parker Jotter. And here are the three pens together so you can get an idea of size. Let's write a bit with the Bastion. Although the barrel is slippery, the black powder coated nose cone has some grip to it, so I don't find it slips while I'm writing with it. I was concerned about the balance of this pen, but it is forward weighted in that heavy stainless steel tip. So when you're in writing position, all the weight is down towards the page and it is fine. And I like that thick grip on there as well. But it can tend to flop around in your hand a bit when you're moving as it is so heavy. I can see why James will like this pen as it is a solid piece of equipment. But here is my favorite non-fountain pen writing instrument. It is my cross edge rollerball. It's nice and thick, but very light in the hand at only 30 grams. It has a one-handed operation clip and is compact when closed, but retract the pen and the rollerball extends. And again, it's a rollerball. Bastion's bolt action pens range from $60 to $100 US. And if you use the code FEB20 right now, you'll get 20% off and free worldwide shipping. They do have some pricier models in textured stainless steel and zirconium for $150 and $250 US respectively. You'll find a link to Bastion in the description below where you'll find the technical details about this ballpoint as well. Thanks go out to Bastion for providing this pen for review. And that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.